And it's me again, and this time it's 8.40 in the evening on the 21st of April 2016. And this one's a bit different from normal. This is not astrology. This is about eschatology, which for those of you who used to watch me a lot five years ago know is actually a real fascination to me. It's a real pet subject, and I'm beginning to return to it big time. I consider myself an accelerationist. I believe in the acceleration of evolution. And I was having a really interesting conversation with a colleague today and a friend. And the subject came up around how, despite um, some type of proto-human being alive on this planet for over a million years, you know, a million years ago, humanity stood up. We stood up and stretched our back and pointed at the stars and went, Wow, what's that? And initially we saw planets moving. You know, we saw lights in the sky moving against the backdrop of the stars. And they, those were planets, although the, the proto-humans of a million years ago would have looked at it and gone, what's that? You know, let's make legends, let's make stories. And then for 950,000 years, not a lot happened. 55,000 years ago, Homo sapiens didn't exist. The planet was inhabited by Neanderthalis, Neanderthal man. Average height, four foot four, four foot five, one and a half meters at tops, a bit smaller. Very big head, very heavy forehead, one large single lobed brain, twice the size of our current brain, almost. Single lobe. Probably nocturnal, certainly lunar orientated, more than solar orientated. And then something happened. In the space of 20,000 years, if you say that one generation is, what, 25 years? Then that's 800 generations, which is a blink in the blink of a moment in terms of evolution. Within those 800 generations, within 20,000 years, from 55,000 BC to 35,000 BC, Homo Neanderthalis completely disappeared from this planet and was supplanted and replaced by Homo sapiens. Much taller, much thinner, weaker shoulders, higher neck, smaller forehead, bilobal brain. Now, any student of nature, biology or science will recognise that for an organ the size of our brain to split from being a single lobal organism into being a bilobal organism in the space of 20,000 years, 400, 800 generations, cannot happen through natural selection. It cannot happen through natural organic biological processes in such a brief period of time. Now, as an astrologer, I don't do God, and I certainly don't do Little Green Men or E.T. or anything like that. So I'm left with a conundrum that's saying, OK, what was it 40,000 years ago that caused us to suddenly, in the space of a blink of an eye, switch from single lobal to, to, multi, to, to bilobal brain systems? What caused that sudden shift of evolution? Was it the response to settling down and farming and, and food ingestion? Was it the response to living in the daytime instead of the nighttime? Was it the response to ingesting some type of food stuff that changed our physiology? Don't know. It's impossible to say. I really don't buy into the ET sort of upgrading philosophy and I certainly don't believe that there's any higher powerful force using humanity as an experiment for their own desires or designs whether they be beneficial or nefarious. But looking at the acceleration of evolution, looking at the fact that there's three times more people on planet now than there was when I was born, looking at the, the technology acceleration of the last 25 years and the spiritual revolution, 
it does seem that we're heading on an escalating graph forward and that it does seem that in the very near future now ahead of us there is this kind of magnet, attractor, this kind of nexus point which is pulling us forward to meet this kind of moment in time that's not that far away within my lifetime, I hope, where some type of purpose, some type of reason for humanity's existence and the recent acceleration of evolution will be revealed. I am looking for some type of transcendental uh, realisation that is going to render much of the more baser human functions irrelevant. Politics, money, greed, power, etc. And, I, you know, um, there's a number of studies out there that suggest that once humanity reaches a certain number, the, pro the density and the concentration of population will trigger us into using that 75% or more of the 75% of the folds of our brain that are currently unused. We only use one quarter of our brain at this time. Why? Nature doesn't like waste. Nature doesn't... Nature is functional. Nature uses all of its abilities and resources. So why do we exist if we're only using one quarter of our brain capacity? It seems to me that in the relatively near future, and my best guess is towards the end of the 2020s, we're going to see this point of transcendence and revelation. And it's not going to be biblical, and it's not going to be God, and it's not going to be E.T. It's going to be some type of um, spiritual and probably cellular acceleration and even mutation into the next step from Homo Neanderthal to Homo sapien and now into something more. I can't wait. I really can't wait. As an astrologer, I'm, I'm, good, I'm supposed to be good at pointing out times for this. I think it's coming, folks. I really do. Because if it isn't, then what is the point of our existence? We're not just a random development. There you go. There's something to ponder over the weekend. I hope this has got your brain firing. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.